It all started about a year ago. I had a singing teacher and he wanted me to record a song in studio and then my oldest sister Emma she put it out on MySpace without me knowing anything about it and then so one day it was just shocking when you know Jesper Venick who's my manager right now he wants to meet me we recorded some test recordings and I'm here now so that's the story who am I <laughs> um, I like to smile and I like to sing and I, I love people yeah, so that's me. I'm happy, thoughtful, and crazy. I can't, I can't lie to you. <laughs> I'm crazy. The song Forever and a Day, it's about being in love for the first time and you don't care what anybody else says, you know. You don't listen to your family, you don't listen to your friends. You just want to be in love and be with the person. And I can definitely relate to that. Frida is, uh, is just, uh, she's real, man. Um, she's just an amazing singer. And um, uh, we saw her on YouTube, we saw her on MySpace, and um, her vocals are just, it's amazing. So um, somebody had to uh, release her voice, and uh, we're glad that you know, she kind of chose to work with us. And, uh, so far, it's been a, it's been a good journey, and, um, and she's growing, man. She's growing. That's why we chose to work with her. I definitely like the way that she's uh, capable of interprets every word, every song in her own way. Um, and the results are always really something else than normally listening to out there and what you, what you expect to hear. And um, yeah, she's capable of um, leaving her own stamp on every song. And um, <clears throat> you know, every time that you just turn off her music, you just get the chills. And, um, She's able to uh, reach out and, and touch you. We chose to work with Frida because of her unique voice and her winning spirit, and she just fits our thing so beautifully. So. It was, it was a no-brainer to say yes to that, you know. We have to hear her do one demo, and then we just said, yeah, we want to do the album. I think it's, it's very uh, hard to, to place the, the music in, in a box or where it would be in the record shop, because the, the album contains both the R&B elements, but also a very, it's a pop album, and, and, and sometimes it's a little alternative because of uh, the way the songs are written, but also because the way she sings the R&B or pop songs. She, have, she has some kind of um, alternative twist to the songs, and uh, that makes it very special and interesting. The song Luis, it's about a girl who everybody thinks that she has everything, that her life is perfect, you know. But underneath it, she feels very alone. Even though she got, you know, she got the looks, she gets money, you know, but she doesn't really have anyone to lean on. I was born in a little town outside Cambridge in England and when I was about three years old we moved back to Sweden where we're from 
and ever since I've been living in a little town called Båstad, which is in uh, south of Sweden. And uh, yeah, I've been living with my with my uh, parents and my three sisters, and we were very close as family. And I grew up with a lot of love, uh, which I am very happy for. song My House, it's about a person who is so tired of the everyday routine and just, uh, you know, just wanted to leave the back, the things back there for just maybe a night or something and just wanted to go and break out and just, you know, maybe be some, someone else for a minute and just forget it, her normal life. I gotta break out. I love what I'm doing and I always give more than 100%. I've known myself all my life <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I'm still just me, I'm still just Frida. You know, I'm really gonna work hard to achieve my dreams and my goals. <laughs>